Oh, hello there. <laughs> hello there. This is Andrea and welcome back to my YouTube channel Orange Orang. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my monthly salary, yeah! monthly deduction, and the monthly expenses. And so, this is one of the highly requested video from you guys and your request is granted. And I just want to give you a heads up that every situation is different. My salary is different from other ALT vloggers, so just, you know, uh, this is just purely based on my experience all right and uh, I just want to share with you this information guys because I want you to have a bigger picture of how much how much you will be getting after deductions and expenses here in Japan so without further ado let's get started okay so first question is how much is your salary mom orange orang mom Andrea so my monthly base salary is 215,000 yen or in peso that's 98,900 pesos. So I base my conversion in 0.46 cents. All right. So 1 yen is equal to 0.46 cents. So now let's talk about the uh, monthly allowance. So aside from my base salary, I owe I also receive a uh, monthly allowance so let me just break it down for you guys for the commuting allowance I always receive 2060 yen or 947 pesos and 60 cents for the position allowance I get 4,000 yen or 1,840 pesos for the rental car allowance this is a uh, this is a bit bigger 18,050 yen or 8,303 pesos so that's a total of 24,110 yen or 11,090 pesos 0.60 90.60 all right so that is for the monthly allowance aside from the 215,000 yen as my base salary now let's talk about the monthly deductions so this is definitely what you're gonna see in your payslip so for the employment insurance we have 717 yen or 329 pesos and 82 cents and we have the income tax which is 6140 yen or 2824.4 pesos for the apartment rental fee, uh, my apartment is so pricey but the, the reason why it's pricey is because it's semi-furnished. When I got there, I already have refrigerator, small fridge, uh, microwave oven, I also have a washing machine, a television, uh, AC, futon. So that, that's why it's pricey and uh, Leo Palace is one of the well-known apartments here in Japan. So this is good for one person, one to two persons. Uh, so the apartment rental fee is 50,860 yen or 23,395 pesos, 0.60 cents. And also I rented a pocket Wi-Fi and a SIM card just in case that I will be outside and uh, I need connection so I, I I rented a uh, pocket Wi-Fi and so this is 7,917 yen or 3,641 pesos 0.82 cents and for the car rental fee as I mentioned earlier my car rental allowance or car yeah car allowance is 18,050 yen but take note of my monthly car rental fee it's 40 thousand seven hundred forty one yen or in peso eighteen thousand seven hundred forty pesos and eighty six so car rental is really expensive I mean I'm paying this kind of amount for a K car 
so it's it's really expensive I find this really expensive so for the monthly deduction if we're going to add this up this is 106,375 uh, 106, yen or 48,932 pesos and 50 cents that is my monthly deductions uh, by the way I didn't include my monthly financial responsibility in the company because uh, so for the aspiring Filipino ALTs out there uh, this is this is a good thing about interact they can offer financial assistance up to 250,000 yen for your startup costs so usually apartments are asking for like a three month three month deposit so if you don't have this kind this much money with you so you can you can ask for financial assistance and uh, the, the interest is really minimal if you're going to compare with the loan sharks in the Philippines so I would recommend that you that you grab this uh, opportunity to grab this opportunity to use the financial help from interact so yeah so let's go to my monthly expenses so for the water bill uh, they are deducting every other month from my bank account so monthly my monthly bill for water is 2500 yen or 1150 pesos for the electric bill 2000 yen or 920 pesos but this one will probably change based based on the weather as we all know this is my first time to, to experience winter and uh, I'll definitely use my heater okay so for the gas pipe bill we have 2,500 yen or 1,150 pesos for the health insurance we have 2,000 yen or 920 pesos so the health insurance the health insurance I think it depends on your location for the car fuel as much as possible I am saving fuel as much as possible that's why I'm not really traveling that much so 2,000 yen a month or 920 pesos for the food as you all know Japan is an expensive country and um, the food is also expensive so I allotted like 1,000 yen a day so that's a total of 30,000 yen and for others like uh, you know when when I need to go out with my friends or I need to buy something for the apartment so I allotted like 10,000 yen a month or that's 4,600 pesos so for the monthly expenses the total is 48,500 yen or 22,310 pesos so let's have the base salary again let's review we have 2,000 215,000 wait a minute so for the base salary it's for the base salary it's 215,000 yen or 98,900 pesos for the monthly allowance I always get 24,110 yen or 11,090 pesos point 60 cents so that's a total of 239,110 yen or 109,990 pesos point 60 cents now let's add the monthly deductions and the monthly expenses so 106,375 yen or 48,932 pesos point 50 plus the expenses 48,500 yen or 22,310 pesos so that's a total of 154,875 or in peso it's 71,242 pesos 0.50 cents now let's diminish the 
monthly expenses, monthly deduction from my base salary and my allowance. Okay, so the base salary and monthly the base salary and monthly allowance is two hundred thirty nine thousand one hundred ten yen or one hundred nine thousand nine hundred ninety point sixty pesos, diminished by one hundred fifty four thousand yen 875 or 71,242 pesos 50 so the money that is left of me is 84,235 yen or 38,748.10 pesos 0.10 cents 38,748 and 10 cents. So, therefore, what's left of me is almost 39,000 pesos. And uh, this money will go straight to my family and to my savings. That's one of a heck math problem. I think I I think I finished listing this down for about an hour. So, it's really hard, you know. Um, for the last question, ma'am and then despite despite what's left of you after all those deductions and expenses, is it worth it to to work in Japan? The answer is of course. It's a big yes for me. It's a big yes. I mean, I'm living my ideal life here in Japan and um I get the chance to explore one of the finest countries in the world. I get the chance to drive whenever I want, wherever I want. I get the chance to live in a tiny but comfortable place, to live alone. And most importantly, I get the chance to better know myself and better know my capabilities as a sister, as a woman, as a daughter, as a friend, you know. and uh, and. The most important of them all is my work here is stress-free. This is the most stress-free work that I have ever experienced. I am forever grateful to our Heavenly Father for giving me another chance to start a new life in the right place. Uh, it's a big yes for me. And of course, I wouldn't forget my tights. That's why I really work hard to find a part-time job here so I can I can pay my tights. And um, yeah, so there you go, guys. I hope you like this video and I hope that I hope you find this video very informative and I hope it gives you and I hope this video help you think things through whether you're gonna continue your application here in Japan as an ALT or not but I hope the answer to that question is yes because um, based on my own experience it's all worth it the the, the, the patience the, the the difficulties that you are encountering right now while you are in the process of your doc applying for your documents this is the best decision that I have ever made in my entire life and I don't regret it so thank you so much for watching guys keep safe stay alive sanitize and spread love and please if you like this video don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my youtube channel and please don't forget to share it with your friends and family members and especially to your teachers all right so if they are planning to work abroad maybe this is this is the answer to their prayers whoa so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and um yeah this is me again orange orang and i'll see you next time see you